A now former Michigan State Police Detective Sergeant was in court today charged in the death of a parole absconder named Samuel Sterling. Police say Sterling was actively fleeing police when he was hit by an unmarked car. 50 year old Detective Sergeant Brian Keeley, who has since retired from the force, now faces second degree murder and manslaughter charges. But the victim's family says that Keeley is not facing a harsh enough punishment. Tonight, News Channel 3's Carter Landis joins us live in the studio. And Carter, you spoke with Sterling's family today. That's right, I did, Jessica. Andy, Andrika, and Michael Sterling called today a slap in the face, questioning why Keeley was allowed to retire before facing termination or any criminal punishment. It's especially hard for them as Keeley was allowed to be released. But their attorney, Ven Johnson, says they've been respectful throughout the process and will continue to be. Sterling, get on the ground right now! On April 17th, 25-year-old Samuel Sterling was running from police when he was hit by an unmarked Michigan State police vehicle in the parking lot of a Burger King in Kentwood. Sterling later died from those injuries. Since then, Andrika Sterling, Samuel's mother, has not known peace. It's not a day that don't go by, I don't cry. I can be at work in the middle of working and just bust out in tears and my supervisor have to pull me away. Detective Sergeant Brian Keeley charged with second degree murder and involuntary manslaughter. However, he is being held on a personal recognizance bond and is not currently in jail. The Sterling family's attorney, Ven Johnson, says this is evidence of a two-tiered legal system that offers preferential treatment for police officers. It's a sobering moment and it's a reminder that although we appreciate charges are brought, uh, this ain't just like any other, any other case. And uh, we're not going to forget that my clients sadly have to live that every single day. Keeley was allowed to retire before facing potential termination. Andrika calling it unfair and painfully questioning why he was able to do that while her son will never come home. The officers get to go home to his family. My grandkids don't even have a daddy. Despite feeling slighted by the justice system, Sterling's family is holding on to the community support they have received. But they say that doesn't make their fight any easier. Um, I'm trying to tr trust the system, trust in God, but the, the way things were going and what I saw today, there is no justice system. Johnson tells me they plan to have a rally in Lansing on Friday speaking out against police injustice, and Keeley will be back in court on Monday, June 17th, for a probable cause hearing. His preliminary hearing is set for the following Monday, June 24th. Live in studio, Carter Landis, News Channel 3.